Melody Claire here, your multi fandom YouTuber, and today we are going to be reviewing Paddington 2. But before we do, uh, 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 spoilers, spoilers, look, wait now, if you don't want the plot of the movie spoiled for you, go see the movie, you have been warned. So, let's look at the characters. Now, of course, we have to look at Paddington first. Now, his character has become more developed in the sequel, and he is so sweet to everyone on his street, and you know what they say. Generosity and kindness always pays off. Also, Aunt Lucy raised that bear really well. Now. Moving on to the main villain of the story, Phoenix Buchanan. I think I said it wrong, but who cares? Now, he is one of my favourite traits in a villain. Vanity and pride. He is just so funny to watch. His motives were good, and I'm really glad he wasn't a laggy reformed villain, because he did have his brilliant comedic side. Okay. Moving on to the Brown family. Now their development shined out and stood out. I thought each of them had wonderful traits that stood out. First, each of them had ambitions which were awesome. And they are a very, very strong family united together. It's like the Avengers. Well, uh, uh, like a non powerful version of the Avengers. Lightning Summary! The characters from the prison were very funny, and each of them were especially knuckles for a sense of joy in the film. The villagers were all sweet as usual, and Mr. Corey was just the annoying person he is. Phew! Summary. Lightning summary over. What did I like about this movie? Well, I liked everything about this movie. The prison scene was really funny, and I loved all the characters. The final battle was really fun to watch, and I nearly cried. But the best scene in the movie has to be the ending. See where Aunt Lucy comes to London. Confession, I totally did burst into tears because the scene was so powerful. It gave me a wonderful message that good deeds will always be rewarded. The sequel was even better than the first movie. It had a lot of comedy that made me laugh. Now, on to a few stuff I didn't like. They're probably just nitpicks. First of all, just because the villain was an actor doesn't mean all actors and actresses are less. I mean, like, seriously, I'm kind of an actress myself. Why did I go American? I have no idea. Under the stuff that actually bothered me, the Browns' ages aren't stated. Plus, we don't know how much time has passed since the first movie. And it clearly states. A good sequel has to state the time gap between the original movie. Also, why is Mr. Cur Curry still not a villain? Yet, ugh, seriously! Oh no, I hate it on Pizza Capaldi. Shoot, Mom's gonna kill me! Yeah, Mom's gonna kill me. She has to mother. Monitor, monitor the video. Good going, Melody. Anyway, this movie is great to watch with your family, and it's full of laughter and joy, so I definitely recommend you go watch it with your family if you haven't. So, yeah, I'm gonna rate it a 9.5 out of 10. This has been Melody Claire. Signing out till next time, and remember, stay marmalade, and...
Cut!